How are we doing today? Kim's in the house. I need my So please, somebody shake me. My mom's stitching us today. She is going for a walk. I'm like, I hope you get rained on. Um, you've gotten rain. I am not in the mood for mashup. My arm is killing me. Um, so I was going to be the host of Let's Do This Fashion Show. I'll just tell you guys. So I introduced her to Extension MB. She got... Molly, who was running it, got $2,000 worth of free hair. And in exchange, it's a trade, right? I'll promote you. They'll become the sponsors. She's going to promote them. She's going to wear it, tag them, post them. They, she signed a contract. You have to do this many tags, this many posts. You got to do this. You got to do that. It was a contract. She signed it. And for the $2,000 worth of hair, uh, the monthly move up is $150 a month. You have to pay the $150 a month. It's a contract for a year. So, cause your hair lasts a year. So all she would have, all she would owe is $150 a month. But if she brought people in, her hair would be completely free. Okay. Well, she wouldn't have to pay the $150 a month, but they just want to make sure, you know, like we're giving you all of this. So, you know, at the very minimum, we're giving you the hair, you pay the $150 a month. If people start coming in, don't worry, your hair's covered. So she sends a message and like almost a month in, and she says, um, Oh my God, my daughter's school got lice and I took them out. Well, first of all, you can't just take them out. Like you have to go to somebody. So she didn't bother to call Extension MB to say, oh my God, my daughter's school has lice. What do we do? Should we take them out? What do you, what do you think we should do? She just took them out. Went to somebody else, took them out. So Extension MB sends my message like, what the hell? So I sent her a message and I'm like, why wouldn't you have called her to say, what the fuck, what do I do? So she's like, this isn't about you. This is between me and Extension MB. I'm like, uh, I referred you. And like, if I'm going to refer somebody, like I want to make sure it's a good referral. $2,000 worth of hair. So then whatever, a week goes by or whatever. Good morning, Ronnie. I'm telling you my bad man. And so a week goes by or whatever. And Extension MB says, listen, you know, we gave you $1,700, $2,000 worth of hair, $1,700 of their cost, right? We, $2,000 by the time you cut colored the whole thing, $2,000 worth of hair, which you can't, it's not like you can give back used hair, right? Once it's her hair, it's her hair. They're, so they're negative $2,000. And they said, listen, you're going to have to pay us back. You know, you took it out. So she starts posting like, well, she goes, well, I can promote you guys without having them in. Because she says, Oh, not only did I take the hair extensions out, but since I don't know if I'll ever put them back in, so, you know, just cancel my $150 a month. She signed a contract. So I'm like, so they, again, send me a message, and they're, they're not blaming me at all. Christine and Scott, the owners, they are the nicest people on the face of the earth, which is what makes me even more mad, right? Because I trust, we're, we're, at this point, we're friends, and I trusted Molly to do this collaboration with them, and she screwed them. So this is ongoing with them. They're like, okay, well, we'll just have to send you to collections. Either you pay us or, you know, you signed a contract and you didn't follow through. So either, you know, you can pay us back, however long that takes, or we're going to send it to collections. 
So in the meantime, I feel so bad. And the Christine and Scott are like, don't worry about it. I'm like, how, how do I go and MC this fashion show and stand up and promote somebody that is so unethical? So I sent her a message. I said, sorry, I have to do this, but I really don't like how this all went down with Extension MB, so I, I can't be here. Well, today, well, the last couple days, um, Saturday they had a big photo shoot which I wasn't invited to. And this conversation happened on Sunday. So the day before they had this huge photo shoot that I was not invited to. And then Monday, so then Sunday I say, look, you know what, I hate to do this, but I can't. Monday they announced Miss Hawaii is now the um, person. And she was at the photo shoot on Saturday. They did a whole spread on her. I'm like, I'm just like repulsed. And I sent so many people to the show, like to be in the show, photographers and models and vendors and anyways just feels like horrible. That's my story. Oh, all right. Was that bad? It's bad. Terrible. So, and my arm is killing me today. So, she is sketch. And that Ugh. That's what I have to say. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to get my mashup. We're going to do sprint. We're going to use the Bosu ball today. Uh, sprint will go quick. Renee, are you there? Mashup. Are you guys, are you guys with me? Pretty shitty, huh? Like, if you didn't, and you signed a contract knowing you'd have, she, then she was like, oh, well, it's because the hair extensions were so painful. Well, A, you could have gone back in, they could have loosened them up, which I've never, ever had that, that's, so that's a lie. And then she's like, well, the hair is beautiful. I just can't afford $150 a month. Well, Christine has got already out two grand, so they would have worked. They're the nice, nicest people on the face of the earth. They would have worked with her. Like, they're already negative two grand, so why would they be like, yeah, just take it out. It's $150 a month. And really all they wanted was for her to start referring people. And if she was referring people, then anyways. Okay. Let's um, start on top of our ball. Uh, record weights. And I think I'm going to do my mom's weights since she's not here. Where are her little teeny tiny weights? They're right here.
Get ready. Yeah. Ready, set. Drop your weight. Come on, squat, side to side, quick feet. Get warm so you might not be all out yet.
Get ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
you can put them back in.
Flat range. 
me. Twist to your triangle and one more round.
or if our counter falls asleep. Mountain climbers, twisted triangle. for my pee advocate. I feel much better. <laughs> All right, grab your strap. Oh, I'm sure you guys are already stretching. That's good. Start stretching. I'll be there in a sec. So Renee, ultimately what happened was the fashion show that I was supposed to be hosting, um, the, ho the, the producer, Molly, I got her connected to Envy to do a collaboration. Three hair extensions, two thousand dollars worth of hair extensions. Some good mashups. Check that. See, it went quick. Three um, hair extensions to promote and do all the stuff. So she signed a contract. Two thousand dollars worth of hair cut color installation. Um, and she signed a contract saying, "I'll do this many posts a month. I'll do this. I'll promote it this way." And a con and then they have a contract of $150 a month, you have to get your hair extensions taped. So they, they include it, it's a contract, it's 150 a month and you just come in and get your hair done, it's included. So they said you pay the 150 a month and if you start sending people in, of course everything else was completely free, start sending people in, your, your um, maintenance will be free as well. So a week before she's supposed to get her hair extensions taped, which she had an appointment, she calls up and says, oh my gosh, there was lice at my daughter's school, I had to take them out. And by the way, I don't know if I'll ever put them back in, so please credit me. Oh, we can do this way. So please take me off of the monthly thing. Well, they just gave her $2,000 worth of hair that she now is not going to be 
finishing your content. Anyways, long story short, I said I can't be a part of the show, and it's just been super, super slim shady. I mean, were, I, extension of me, they are the nicest people on the face of the earth, and um, they would have worked with her, but she's just, a, she's a liar and unethical, and so now they're like, well, you know, we gave you this hair, which we can't do anything with, so you have to need to pay us. So if you don't, we'll send you to collections. Especially because they are truly like the nicest people on the face of the earth. And I mean that. Me and Cheer Chats. That's why, I mean, I've been working with them for so long. Husband, wife, team. I mean, they're just honestly the greatest people. Cross that right leg over. Look at your right hand. Uh, I'm so happy I had chicken salad to eat. That makes me so happy. In John's in Barcelona until next Wednesday. And then we leave next Thursday, so I'll be here Monday, Wednesday, next week. And then we leave for Deer Valley on Thursday, just for the weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Cross that right leg. Hug that left thigh into your chest. Um, also, you guys, um, if you guys are having issues, you can message me. But also, feel free to message Pink Hat um, and let him know if, if stuff is that you're wanting to do is I don't go back into the app to see what's there, because I'm not doing the classes, right? I'm live. So if he doesn't put a workout onto the platform, send him a message. He'll probably listen to you better than he'll listen to me. And you're going to be the one to see that it makes it on there. I'll do the request and then he doesn't do it and I don't know. Because I'm not on it. Switch legs. And one more reminder. There, you guys, pretty much those of you who are on the workout are the ones doing the workout. We do not have a big group. It's just our little group. I am not making money. I'm sure I am losing money every month on this. And that's okay. I'm totally okay with that. But don't don't bombard me with your with the problems. I pay pan catch, bombard him. Because I can't do I can't even do anything about it, but yell at him. So it's easier instead of you yelling at me and then me yelling at him, just yell at him directly. If you need me to give you his contact info, um, Linda, she only does our reruns. She's amazing. Um, I had to connect her because of payment stuff. So I connected her to Cash and he didn't put something on and so she messaged him. I'm on the I'm on the message, but she messaged him directly, which is freaking I mean she's like, I didn't think you would mind. I was like, thank you, Linda, for doing that. She goes, I didn't think you would mind. I'm like, no, I didn't. So hit me up if you need the email. I can send the email after this um, to our group text. But yeah, if you see something is not going right as it should, let him know. Let him know. Oh. And Siri said, but there was a ballet that wasn't on there from January. Like, how would I know that? I get it. You want it. You should have it. So let him know. I pay him. I paid him so much freaking money. Hug that. Way more than he fucking deserves. Because he always cries to me that he needs money, and I wind up giving it to him and going, okay, well, you owe me X amount a month. Anyways, I'm too nice for my own freaking good. Cross that leg over your body. Look at your left hand. Oh, I had a crack in my back. Don't mind my bad attitude today. I need a nap, too. I couldn't fall asleep. I got in bed, and I was just freaking wide awake. I don't know, maybe because John was, you know, on his way to Barcelona, so he... He probably texted me at like 12.30. I, so I have the, have you guys used the sleep mode on your phone? It's kind of good actually. So after I think 10.30, my phone goes into sleep mode and I stop getting messages, text messages, Instagram messages, Facebook, email, like unless my kids call because they're on emergency, I don't get anything. Phone calls, nothing. So um, otherwise I probably would have woken up, but he must have texted me like the moment that I went to fell asleep. And then I woke up on my phone at 5.30, which I set my alarm because I went to bed so late. I set it for almost 7. So I don't know what's wrong with me. Bring the soles of your feet together. Yeah, no. And Renee, she goes, she said to me, so initially when she was like, I just took them out because you know those little life scare. And I go, I sent her after... Extension Emmy sent me a message and was like, what the hell? I sent her a message and I said, why wouldn't you contact them? Like, if something goes wrong, like, I don't know, like, if you buy a brand new car and it has an issue, 
you go back to the dealership, you go, my car has an issue, to the same dealership. You don't go to another dealership and have to pay, right? So the whole thing was weird, and I'm like, why wouldn't you? And she's like, this has nothing to do with you. This has to do with me and extension envy. I'm like, no, this does have to do with me because I referred you in good faith. He's like, if I referred Francisco, my handyman, to you, Renee, and said that he was going to do an amazing job on your house, and you pay him all this money, and he never shows up, like, that I, I would feel horrible, right? Because I, I said, this guy's going to do a good job for you. Like, I don't refer people unless I really, like, am 100% sure that you're going to get what you, what you pay for. I need to just get back in bed and not, but unfortunately that's not going to be the case. I'm doing a video, Renee, um, there's a fundraiser this weekend for first responders and uh, veterans um, to prevent suicide. Um, this guy who was, I believe, a Marine and also a police officer maybe, he committed suicide in a cluster suicide. And um, this guy who owns a supplement shop has been doing, raising money for awareness um, and like uh, raise a ton of money for the suicide hotline. And anyways, he's doing an event this weekend, so um, I'm going to be live today at noonish talking about the event this weekend. It's um, typical town Scottsdale. So um, I think I'm going. I, I got to figure out. I can't remember exactly what the details are. So stay tuned for that. Tomorrow's ballet. She's 
we were running this fashion show, what whatever person to be wearing hair extensions, and she totally screwed them. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you, Renee. Uh, Siri, do not feel bad because he owes me. It's a job. He is paid way too much. So thank you, Renee, for doing that. Siri should not feel bad. I, none of you should feel bad. He is very well compensated and he doesn't do his job very well. And I wind up getting Tourette's with him and just yelling at him because I'm so annoyed. Because I paid him so much money. And it just doesn't seem like it's a difficult job. Like, it's the same thing every day. Take the video, upload it, put it on the platform. Well, it's so hard. Put the date on it. <sighs> I, and I think sometimes that coming from you guys is better than coming from me, right? Because then he knows I'm not being a complaint. Like, I complain and it's like, oh, you're just a complainer. When it's coming from you guys, it's like, okay, her people are annoyed. I just have fucking take advantage of me all over my forehead. Uh, yeah, what is going on with red light? I went in Kathy two days ago and they opened the door for me. Somebody was already in red light. Uh, I, I can't. Anyways. All right, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much. Um, I will talk to you uh, tomorrow for ballet.